Hi, Andy here. Today I'm going to teach you to, how to play a fantastic little blues uh, riffy lick thing in the style of Robert Cray. Sounds like this. Now that's the intro, uh, sorry the intro, it's the first part of the solo by uh, Robert Cray in his, one of my favourite songs he's ever recorded, Phone Booth, right, uh, I think it's off his second album. And we, what we're doing here is taking some fantastic Robert Cray-esque techniques and going to teach them to you and then apply it to his first part of his solo. If you go and listen to the full solo, you see how that's a, this is a brilliant introduction to the main solo and it builds right up. Now, there's three things here to note about this solo. Um, one is the very distinctive Robert Cray sound. Now, what he's doing is, uh, I think, he uses his um, uh, Fender guitar, um, and I think he uses a Custom Shop Strat, which is apparently available on the market, and he, he uses his pickups on either the second position or the fourth position. So if you do have a Strat, doesn't matter if you don't, I'm just trying to say if you do, you've got your first position, your second position, which is quite mellow, which Robert Cray uses quite a lot, and what I'm using here, you have your third position, your fourth position, which is again a very stressy sound, and then you have your fifth position where it's quite trebly. Okay, so I've got mine in the second position, so I've got this sort of sound. Tiny little bit of reverb on, apart from that, a clean sound, which is what Robert Cray uses, apart from a little bit of um, reverb. The other thing he does, um, he uses his vibrato quite a lot which is very, very distinctive of his style of playing, and I'll show you what he does for that. And he also uses what I like to call slap lead guitar, where he's going. And I'll show you how he does that as well. And you put all those elements together, and you have the start of a fantastic lick in the style of Robert Cray, playing the first part of Phone Booth. So if you go forward to the next video, I'll show you exactly what I was doing.